So today we're going to take a look over this very neat Haynes 32 sedan. It's a little bit windy and blustery here in Brundle today, so apologies if that doesn't pick up on the um, on the video. But here it is, Avalon, Haynes 32 sedan. Obviously we know these boats very well here at Norfolk Yacht Agency, being agents for Haynes Marine. Local built boats, built here in Norfolk, over in Catfield, to a very, very high standard. And the, the Haynes 32 sedan is the ever popular model. We sell a lot of these and see them coming to the used market. Always do very well. Uh, this particular boat is a 2013 model. We've got a single nanny 43 horse in here, so very much set up for the inland cruising. And as an example, very, very lightly used this one. Uh, we supplied it new to the first owner and we supplied it to these owners as well. Uh, so we've owned the boat throughout its, throughout its life. Clean and tidy on the outside. It's, it's in need of a, a bit of a machine polish just to bring it to best. It's obviously been sat on its mooring over the, um, over the winter. You can just see a few blemishes on the gel coat, all stuff that would uh, machine polish out. It's definitely worth doing to get it looking 100%. But apart from that, clean, tidy on the exterior. Gel coat is in good order. There's no obvious damage anywhere. Striking bonded windows, tinted, really sets it off, really looks the part. Got mud weight on the front, windless. We've got some roofs, which we'll have a look at when we uh, go into the saloon. Pulpit, stainless steel pulpit, guarding the decks. Good deck space down into the cockpit at the back there. Got the synthetic teak clade bathing platform on here as well. Uh, nice wide bathing platform on these 32 sedans, so the access is very, very good through that transom gate into the aft cockpit. Canopies, certainly serviceable, good order there. I'll take a step down and we'll have a look in the, uh, in the cockpit. So you can see this very nice synthetic teak, real nice touch that sets it off. So into the cockpit, we've got comfortable sort of bench seating at the aft end the roll back canvas top there so this opens up completely obviously all the um the, the canopy comes off this 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 is real nice sort of sun trap area here all opens up we've got these lovely bifolding style doors so we've just got the one open there i'll open up the second one you can see how it really sort of brings the outside in Obviously all three do open. Let's slide that one across as well so we can see that going on. Changes the, um, the feel of the boat completely getting that open. Seat there does reverse, uh, obviously so you can have it. Bit of extra cockpit seating. Real nice touch that. It's just such a, a classy element. It really opens it up. It's got such a nice feel to it when it's when it's all open. So we just reverse that chair actually, what's going on there. So obviously when the doors are shut, we sit around the saloon table. That's the seating. But got this nice light finish inside. Really lightly used in here. I mean, it looks like no one's been in it really. <laughs> Upholstery's all good. Woodwork's all very good. Carpet's good. Bow and stern thruster on here, so very easy to use, control, manoeuvre, that single diesel, very economical, shaft, uh, shaft driven, just a very nice river boat, just cruising in style really, style and comfort, I'll pan round the saloon so we can see what's going on, those lovely open doors, you can really see how that opens it up, it's like tinted glass, here's the obviously the manual sunroof, that we mentioned. Show you the woodwork down the port side. We've got plenty of stowage lockers there. TV point, shore power, warm air, heating, ever spatia. Down in the galley, again, all in very good order. Looks like it's never been used, to be honest. Good size, isotherm, stainless steel fridge. I think it's an 85 litre fridge. Plenty of storage again in here. We've got oven grill, 
hob, fridge, sink, bin in the counter there, nice Avonite worktops, teak and holly flooring. Step back up there and pan around so we can see what's going on. Just in the head, what WC, electric flush toilet, Tecma toilet, wash basin, shower, wet room style. And then into the forward cabin, we've got this very, very comfortable island double berth. We can get up both sides, stowage underneath, good floor space, very fair sized cabin. And again, it looks like it's never been slept in, to be honest. It's, yeah, very lightly used in here. Hanging lockers. Both sides, good stowage space. Just pan around some more so you can see what's going on. Beautifully finished, they really are. Special boats of these. Level of detail is very, very good. And as we were saying, it's a great opportunity to, to buy one of these on the used market that's, yeah, not been used very much at all, really. I'll just go back to the cockpit so we can see what's going on there. Pan around one more time in the main cabin so we can get a bit of a overview of it. And that's the Haynes 32 sedan. Uh, so just come in at the Brundle office, currently in the water on the sales area here. Full specifications, photographs below. If you need any more questions, details, then please give the guys in the office a shout and we will be more than happy to help.